Hello there, in this episode we're gonna be talking about instancing static meshes and um, I, I'll be explaining a little bit of merging actors all together as well to reduce the draw calls which is a pretty huge deal in mobile development because a lot of performance issues in mobile development come from either draw calls or shader complexity. Um, this is the environment that I've downloaded from the Epic Games launcher and um, you can easily go ahead and download this in entire environment as well and all the assets in it all the assets are pretty much optimized to the point that it's like as optimized as possible for a pc game but in uh when it comes to mobile development this is not enough we have to optimize it even further you will get probably like 30 frames per second running this scene on your high-end machine but we want to get a hundred frames per second on a, a high-end machine and 30 frames per second on a lower end machine so let's go ahead and do that um to start things off i'll be typing stat rhi to show you how many draw calls we have here it's nearly 2000 draw calls which if you want a game running smoothly on mobile uh, mobile devices your targets should be less than uh, probably 800 or a thousand at max this is like the first thing of the checklist that you should have if you want to have a really smooth game on your device so let's go ahead and uh, reduce that try so what is draw call you have a static mesh the static mesh has a material this is one draw call you have another static mesh the static mesh has a material one draw call if the static mesh has five material slots it means that this rendering this um, static mesh with all the materials in it will take five draw calls so if you have like a thousand static meshes with five material slots in each you'll get 5000 draw calls which is huge you can't render all of that in a mobile device this scene is pretty optimized um, everything is has one material slot and everything's pretty much optimized so we won't go ahead and do that um, as I told you, you can just go ahead and uh, download the whole scene from Epic Games Launcher. What we can do though, I'm going to explain merging actors first. So, for example, you want, you have this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Um, these are five, six meshes, which means, which means five draw calls. You can go ahead, select them, go ahead in actors, merge actors, merge actor settings, and you'll be greeted by something like this. You'll go ahead into the settings, expand the settings menu. You'll make sure that the LOD selection type is set as always use the lowest detail LOD, which again, I've already explained this stuff, but For example, if you want to, you can go ahead in the me in this mesh and the number of LODs when you're working on mobile, with the number of LODs should not be more than one. So when you merge actors, if you're using the lowest detail LOD, it really doesn't differ. Let's select them all together again since I dis just selected it. Um, and when you check this one out, the merge material option is now selectable because it's now turned off, turned gray. And then if you do that, you can check this one out. This is the main thing we're looking for when we want to reduce the draw calls. Because remember, draw calls are materials. When we are drawing materials into the scene, we're drawing, uh, these are all uh, draw calls, right? So we are going to merge materials. So if we want, we have six meshes, six materials, we'll merge those six materials all together and we'll get one material, like one draw call. 
and you can go into the material settings you can probably make this 1024 by 1024 depending on your preferences I'd say this one is good if you are not looking for a really high quality game if you're if you really want your game to be top quality top notch this is the way it works it will have some uh, size drawbacks it will have some memory issues definitely but you'll get more quality if you want to include your normal map as well you will have to include it here by checking this one out the metallic map all the maps that you want to include you can have them checked out or if you want to just give them some default value you can do so here and you can replace these source actors here if you want to manually replace them you this is the default value but if you want everything to be automatic you can replace them and then merge actors merge meshes save and then it will replace all of that together okay that's for the merging actors what about the instancing the instancing tool is a really powerful tool you can't imagine how powerful it is it uh, it is in Unreal Engine 5 it was pretty powerful in Unreal Engine 4 but in Unreal Engine 5 it's pretty much on another level it's as if it's on this steroids so I can just go ahead and probably have everything selected and just go ahead in the actor just randomly select things oh one thing in mind though is frost stream calling we are selecting everything in the scene the frost stream calling is a calling method that's being used by default in Unreal engine so if you're looking at this scene everything behind you that's not visible on the screen is not being rendered right this is the way it works this is how the default works uh, the engine works by default but if you instance everything together if you're looking at one of them all of it will be rendered into the scene but here's another catch calling sucks in mobile games mobile devices don't have enough cpu power to do the calling properly some of them can sometimes callings your way of saving the game but most of the times reducing the draw calls no matter what is the best thing to do so that's my advice to it For, it may break the frost from calling if you don't want to break the frost from calling you can probably select everything by hand select everything in this area and then go into this area just divide your scene by area by area if you want to really really be picky about everything and if you want to get the most out of your game you can go ahead and select everything by hand just select 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 until you've selected everything in this area and then go ahead into the actor merge actors and batch and we are waiting for some shader compilation it's compiling a lot of shaders pretty much okay now that is it compi uh, it finished compiling shaders let's look at our numbers stat rhi and it's now a little bit less it's not noticeable it's just a little bit less okay let's go even further so we've done all of that so let's go ahead and do some other stuff like oh not the grass not now at least okay what about them actor measure actors batch some others all oh, flowers let's see if the flowers could yeah actually you have to instance all the foliage you have these are all static meshes which is awful so you don't really have you ha you need to have all the foliage in your scene on uh, instance so actor merge actors batch again and um again let's do some more 
actor, merge actors, batch. Again, let's do some more. I want something like a thousand. So I have to do a lot of it. Actor, merge actor, batch. Again, let's do some more. Actor, merge actors, batch. And some more. Actor, merge actor, batch. Guess my computer is gonna break soon. Oh, it's compiling a lot. And then actor, merge actors, then batch again. It's instancing a lot of actors right now. Okay, I guess we're done. And actor, merge actor, batch. Okay, most of them got instanced, which is so good. I like that. Okay, there are some left though. Let's go ahead and finish up what we've started. Oh, let's actually see the result. The result we got until now. Okay, if it finishes compiling. Okay, let's see. Stat or HI. Okay, we're now at 1,300. Remember, it was nearly 2,000. 1,300 or 400 means that it nearly doubled your frame frame rate. So let's go ahead and do even more. Oh, it actually has to prepare sh some shaders. So I'm just going to pause the video for some second until this does everything and then I'll continue cleaning everything up okay now that it finished compiling let's go ahead in our outline world outliner and see what we've missed um, I want to make sure that everything I'm seeing is instanced so I'm gonna select even more actors uh, merge actors batch uh, and then it's gonna compile a lot more shaders and then i'm going to select even more not this one though actor oh i just deselected this one because this is another mesh and if i had selected it it wouldn't uh have made it into the uh instances right so this one should be instanced with all the carved ruins that exist in the world. It can't be instanced with another static mesh because instancing works work this way. It instances the same static mesh over and over again. So all of them are referenced to one static mesh. This one can't be instanced to something that's not like it. Okay, so merge actors batch again okay what else oh, we have a lot left we can definitely go under a thousand till here actor merge actor batch again till here actor merge actor batch what else? Let's... Until the fern actor merge actor batch floors. Oh, it, um, they are actually merged. Okay, until here actor merge actors and batch, and everything's instance i believe and these are all the actors 
that are created from it. So these are all the actors. Instead of all of those static meshes, we ended up having 16 actors, which is kind of cool. Okay, so let's look at our numbers right now. Everything's fine. No shaders compiling. So stat RHI. We're looking at a thousand three hundred. Oh no, drop parameters calls. Oh, oh, it's definitely under a thousand. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. It went under a thousand. This means that if you have a low end device, I'm talking about really, really, really old and poor devices, you know, the, the, the performance power is not really high in those devices, like a device with two gigabytes of memory, it can run smoothly on those devices, like can download the packaged project um, in probably like a week or two. I'm going to add some more details into the project. I'm, I'm going to change the controller inputs on some other things and then you can download the project and try it on your own device that that could be kind of cool okay now that we're done let's type in instead or try to get rid of it and i wish you a great time bye